Hey guys, I'm back with another video. This is Mama's House, and what we're doing in Mama's House today is making a sketch and print holder uh, the inexpensive way. And what I have went, I went to the Dollar Tree and got some black poster board, the thin kind that is, not the thin kind, excuse me, the thick kind that is pretty sturdy. And I had some Gorilla Tape, which is so sticky, the extra strength. And be careful because you can pull your fingerprints off of that stuff. I got a little bit of ribbon, and I just cut the ribbon to the length that I wanted the handles to be. And get you some, oops, get you some of these clips. Just one, a big one, little one, doesn't matter. Well, yeah, it does matter. The Not the really tiny ones, but the next to the large ones. You just get you one of those to go on your file. But this is the end result. It is... You just take that tape and put it, put two pieces of board together, put you some Gorilla Tape on there, and it holds really wonderfully. Um, and then you have it. And then all you do to keep it closed, and you know, is just clip that, clip those two pieces together, and it'll stay shut. And if you get thinner poster board, it might stay closed better. However. It's fle more flexible and it will bend and it will damage your your blueprints or your artworks or whatever. So this is a good way to keep your prints and drawings in, like I said, in a on the go. And it's not too large. It's it's a I don't know what the specs are, but there. there. I'll show you that label so you can know what to get. And there you have it. It's a foam board, I think that's what they call it. And I just like the little polka dot black handles. And when I clip, let me put this real close real quick. I put it together and it holds it flush to each other. You could put one on each end to kind of keep it closed. Or you could put four on it to keep sides. This is, like I said, this is uh, less than $5 to make this. And I know that hobby, the, that place up the road you can get a one like this but you're going to pay 60 bucks for it so there you have it bye guys